you know what I need for this review? A good cup of tea that I've almost finished because I've tried to make this video five times. And of course, a whole lot of love for Carrie Hope Fletcher. Hello and welcome to Blue Mine Reviews where either me, Lou or Wade come on here spewing some love and starting some discussions about recent things we've seen or played or read. Just basically reviewing everything. Ow, there's an eyelash in my eye. I'm good! And I have not done a theatre one in a while, because the last theatre one I did was actually a play that goes wrong, which was included in my mischief theatre kind of review from like two years ago. <laughs> Damn, that was almost two years ago, Jesus Christ. But anyway, I thought I would pop on here with a review for something I really didn't think I was going to get a chance to see, and that is Carrie Hope Fletcher's UK concert tour of an open book. Oh my god. And like I've said, I've tried to make this video five times because A, I like this, essentially. I can't do words and my autistic brain cannot comprehend said words that I can even say to describe how much I love this show. You know what? That actually came out really well for once. I'm actually proud of myself with that. Okay, so a story has got to go along with this because of... How did we get to this, and why didn't I think I was going to be able to make this video? Back, backtrack, backstory, let's go! So, essentially a few weeks ago, I didn't think I was going to be able to go to the show, and I'd like... I was in kind of a whirlwind of emotions, and I was like... Just trying to sort out things in work, and sort out things in personal life as well, and then... Because I really don't take days off, I'm still doing stuff work even on my days off because I have the social media so I do the social media for my company as well as um, well for four shops in my company as well as run my own so enter my lovely work wife for life who also runs a shop in York similar to mine Michelle now Michelle and I have known each other since my old um, days of working in the train station. We worked in the train station like kind of the same time as each other. She... Google timer, god. Anyway, so me and Michelle had known each other for a long time. Um, oh, I would say about three-ish, three and a half-ish years now. I would probably put that at just because... Yeah, 2021, we were full on talking to each other a lot of the time. She'd seen me from a distance and basically said I want to be her friend. Finally, we approach each other, we talked, we realised we are definitely the same person in two different personalities and two different bodies. And then, somehow, she gets a new job at this company. I then go and get another, a new job as well. And it's at the same company! So, we work at the same company now. That, that, that happened. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> we kind of like mind meld on very much ideas together. We like discuss everything we want to do together. Like we've been out drinking together. We've been out to the theater together um, once because she took me when she had a spare ticket to Inspector Calls, which I loved, but also scared the shit out of me because of the part with the special effects and the Big Bang and I don't like Big Bang because then I tried to prepare myself but no, I still reacted and she just looks at me like, are you okay? <laughs> no, I was not. She had a nice idea where basically, I think it was two weeks before, um, she just goes, hey, so there's some seats left in Sheffield on the 31st of May and we've both got days off then. Wanna make a day trip to Sheffield and go and see Carrie in concert? I immediately reply yes because I trust her <laughs> and with me and the autism I'm very specific about needing to put a journey together like it's partially OCD as well like I'm not officially tested for OCD I'm officially tested on the autistic spectrum but 
Um, OCD I'm not officially tested for, even though people get vibes from me that I am probably very much OCD about stuff. Um, specifically in work, I probably am. Other things like this room right now, probably not. And no, I'm not gonna show the room. I'm very much wanting to be organized, so she just goes, I will book the tickets, you book the transport. I just go, okay, I can get transport cheap because I have the rail card, easy. <laughs> oh, so I thought. Essentially, I booked the tickets the same day. And then a week later, um, hey, um, so the trains are going on strike. And I just booked the tickets and it says it's not running the train. It's not running any trains. I fully get my refund, I'm happy about that, but how are we getting to Sheffield? So, Michelle came up with a very clever plan of just like, I'll book us some coach trips, I know where to get some cheap. Just forward me this amount of money, so it's half seas. And I'm just like, okay, that's fair. Because she's the woman with the backup plan, and God, she knows how exactly I react in kind of situations where if they're not organised or I don't know what's going on, I first flee to panic. I very much go to, <laughs> no thank you. I'm like very panicky about when I don't know what's going on or if I don't get information about something like either a week or so prior. I always like know a week before what is going on and what the plan is just because I'd rather be prepared than not. And that puts me in a days of just like, oh god, this is so mm. So we do the coach trip and we have a nice time in um, Sheffield. We walk around, we do a few things. We also buy Carrie a little, um, we got her a little care package because we thought, get her some tea because it's a tour and her throat is gonna probably, like from all the singing she's gonna be doing, her throat is gonna hurt quite a bit. So we got her some, I think Michelle got her some honey and chamomile tea. And she also bought some Percy Pigs to put in there. I bought a funny book because I feel like she'd be missing Edgar a lot. So just buying a book of funny cats essentially, just to basically pop in there and like, maybe give Edgar a little bit of a bedtime story. Just like, these are cats that are similar to you. <laughs> Like, this one likes to laugh and this one likes to do cuddles. Especially as Edgar is a very cuddly cat if you've seen Carrie's Instagram stories. But over to the show now. Um, just to comprehend, like go through it a little bit. So it's initially the opening act and then it was Carrie's full show. We had the opening act that was Trinity, which is an Irish group who all just sing beautiful songs and they sing lovely songs and it's it's nice and we got to talk to them and they, they are really nice and they are really funny and I say the banter is there 100% like if I was to see these guys on tour just in general um it would be 100% like there for the bands as well as the music because if you want to be there for banter and music in one place that, that that's perfect that's amazing so uh, go look up Trinity, and I've also popped, um, well, I'll pop the, like, Instagram in the description below, as well as Carrie's, obviously, and I've, like, followed them on Insta, and I also, um, look them up on Spotify, because they are easy to find, I might pop their Spotify there as well, because, like, it took some finding, because every, why does everything have the name Trinity in it? Like, Leeds Trinity, um, has the Leeds... Yeah, there's a lot of places with Trinity in the name. God, God damn it. I can't even comprehend that. <clears throat> Brain is on full explosion mode right now? Probably, I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, we made it and basically the concept of Carrie's show is Carrie needs help writing the show. So, initially, I obviously get a program for every show I go to. I have an inspector calls one hidden somewhere <laughs> and I have the play that goes wrong also hidden somewhere. I, I'm not free stuff no um but she basically has this QR code in it which is basically Carrie needs your help tonight the night and she hasn't written the show so scan the QR code and pick which story she should tell each story comes with a song so choose wisely and there are one two three four five six seven 
Yeah, I'm just making sure it's the same on both. Uh, seven stories for each act, and you pick four of them. So it's, a, it's really good, and I think it's a good way to change it up every night. So you always have something new per show, and not every show is the same, which I think is always a good idea because like, even though she's been in the West End and she's obviously been on UK tours with musicals, having to do the same thing every night can sometimes get to being a lot. Whereas, if you're on your own tour, you can do whatever you want, and Carrie just basically taking her own tour and saying, you know what, I don't always want to do the same thing every show. Let's throw it to the audience to pick what I do and see what happens. And I always think this is a really good way, and like, I've said this... I haven't said this here, but I've said this about other shows, like when I went to see, this was back in 2015, when I went to see Dan and Phil's show, um, it wasn't Interactive Introverts, I went to see Amazing Tour is Not On Fire, um, and basically they had a lot of audience interactive participation, which was over the internet mostly, and they just read, said, okay, so if you want to do some Dan and Phil craft stuff, just leave your art on this table and we will get it to them. And um, and there was the Why Am I a Weird Kid stuff, where they basically took pictures of people and then they just went, oh, so let's rate that out of a one for five and stuff like that. They had a, a lot of like different things. No show was the same. Same with this one, no show is ever the same. So I don't think every show Carrie did was kind of the same and always changed up the stories, which I kind of like in a show, just like, I've already said that. <laughs> I kind of like in a show mainly because of making it different for the person, but also giving every audience a different experience, which is kind of nice in a way just to go, oh yeah, I saw her do this one. Wait, you saw her do that one? I saw her do this? Oh really? No way! So you can always have conversations with people about it. Um, me and Michelle um, initially had seats which was behind, and I'll pop up a photo of the stage, we were behind the tech guys and then basically um, the staff said, hey do you want us to move you just because they're going to be standing up all the show? And we just went, yeah let's do it. And we took these this little three row, so we just sat down and then there was a lass that joined us. I wish I asked her her name because she was so lovely and she took a selfie with us. Oh my god, I wish I, I wish I knew her name. I wish I could find her, like, because she was so sweet and we had so, so many discussions and it wasn't just my first time, it was her first time seeing Carrie as well, so we had that discussion and we, we just had nice chats and I like I like that when you get to go and see a show and just like vibe with people who also love Carrie Hope Fletcher as much as you do because you always get to vibe with each other and get different opinions and I need to breathe when I speak god Trinity was an amazing act from the start did I almost cry yeah just because there was one song they sang they sang from now on from the greatest showman that is the one song of my four favourites, because I love the Greatest Showman songs, like, 100%. Yeah, I just said to Michelle, I had to go with one of my four, and it's the one that usually makes me cry the most. Because, <laughs> no, it's the second one that makes me cry the most, because the first one that makes me cry the most is This Is Me. Because when it gets to the little bit where Keela is going to cry, I'm going to cry, and it'll, like... I, my emotions just go, oh, oh, oh god. But yeah, they almost made me cry and then the banter just brought me back up and I loved it. And then Carrie's show began and oh my god, I loved it so much, where is the album? Like seriously, she has so many songs that she does including a couple, I think there was a couple of originals thrown in there as well. Yes, there was, because the very first song she sang was an original. Um, but I want an album and I want it now. <laughs> Is that weird for me to say? I really don't know, just because like I want to just hear it all. Just all again and like the way she sings is amazing and she's such a talent and she's so lovely and also the way she was open in this talk literally with it being called an open book she was open about all the stories like all the different stories she was telling and she was so open about her life and it's interesting to get that from her perspective because all perspectives of life are different 
Um, if I could say this properly, I don't know. Um, everyone has a different perspective in life, especially as you don't have to always like the same things, and you don't always like have to uh, just like be nice. Wait. Wow, I am really finding this hard. If we were all the same in this world, it would be pretty fucking boring, let me tell you. <laughs> um, and especially as with us all not being the same, it makes the world more interesting and you also get to learn other people's perspectives and you can tell more stories that way and you can tell your, your stories, you can create characters to make other stories, in essence to writing and like, all sorts. I'm really bad at explaining this. I am so sorry. Her being so open and just like being able to just be so expressive about being yourself. If there were any little kids in that audience, I would say to them, take that advice because it is better to be yourself than anybody else. And like I said, if we were all, um, if we were all... <laughs> I can't even say it now, good god. I'm really, I'm really bad at this, oh god. If we were all the same, it would be a boring world. And a boring world, like where everyone's the same, it, I don't think it would be that great. And we wouldn't be able to just say our differences or give our opinions on why we think this is an iconic movie or why we think this song is the greatest song of all time or why we love this musical but really didn't get this musical or like sharing different opinions is what we do and being ourselves is just who we are and if we don't have that individuality what do we do because everybody has had their moments where they've been in high school trying to fit into the status quo and they've had their moments where they've had phases like the emo phase the um oh yeah i'm gonna get into this pe phase oh yeah i'm gonna like do this phase there's all sorts of phases you go through like i'm still in my emo phase i'm very much stuck in my emo phase i i'm i'm so alone <laughs> i can make this joke and laugh just because i'm so alone carrie's show was an experience where i got to hear her sing so many songs that i've always seen her do on youtube or like just heard her do on Spotify and she got a standing ovation as she thoroughly deserves and she is amazing just in general. I need to see her more often, I really do. I, I need to go and see her like a lot and she's just so lovely. Um, I also like got to interact with a couple of fans and we all got to chat to each other kind of and just like make each other laugh and everything before stage door because we were just like we were all just like where's stage door and we just all decided to just like hop skip and run together because that that was the easiest way because we couldn't find it so we were just like this way this way <laughs> and we got to meet Carrie um the main picture that came out the best was the one of me and Michelle and Carrie together so I'll pop that up on screen because I love the picture of me and Carrie but it was a little bit blurred because of the light in the back so like the lighting in the back was literally a tiny light that you would accidentally step on so we had to kind of reposition ourselves quite a lot which was hard but at the same time it's still a good picture that I will always keep and I'll pop it up just because I do love it and it's me and Carrie. Ah. Um, we gave her the package and she was very happy with it and I kind of don't remember everything I said. I remember there was like a thing where I was like, um, oh yeah, um, in our relationship, because she was basically, Michelle was basically like, um, oh, I told you she'd love the bag because we got a cool, cute little bag that was like a disco ball with a funny face. And I just went, well, you are, you are the brains of the operation and I'm the autistic one. <laughs> I'm not very good at conversation and that's the first thing that comes out of my mouth. Great, fantastic, I've embarrassed myself in front of Carrie Hope Fletcher, great. But she was so lovely and just in general she is amazing and like we took some pictures together. We tried to get some wow cam pictures as well, unfortunately they didn't come out because guess who forgot to turn on the flash? 
And plus, if I turned on the flash, I wouldn't have wanted to make Carrie jump and just like all of a sudden from afar people seeing the flash. So I think it was best that we didn't get those pictures because like at the end of the day, we have the ones we have and that's what we should be grateful for. And she was grateful for her gift and she's just so lovely. And she also, I will get it out because even though I haven't put the pictures in it yet. So I have a love for scrapbooking essentially, which basically I always like make a bunch of like scrapbooks to do with things. So that was like, a work party one, this is like a little um, fun day one for my job, I've got, one day I'll go through these, um, I'm making currently my Wales Comic Con books, because um, I wanted to make a better scrapbook, and I have the one I've shown before on this channel which was the unlimited card one. To which I've still yet to finish, but I need to add another movie in there because of Across the Spider-Verse. But this one that I'm making is basically a, like, people I've met um, book because I never got to meet anybody until 2021, which was Wales Comic Con. And I've never had the experience of actually meeting people that I've, like, have a love for. And... Honestly, like, Tomsko was one of them because my high school years I was very much a SDF movie and he's just a lovely person to interact with also. Got Troy and Jeffrey, obviously from Last of Us video games. A lot of gaming people in here at the moment. And then I've got John Barrowman in here also because childhood and also absolutely love him to death and he's amazing. But I also have a page from Carrie Hope Fletcher also signed by Carrie Hill Fletcher and I think she thought it was cute when I basically puffed it in front of her just to sign and she just thought oh my god that's so cute um, and I wrote all her roles and then I've just got Carrie's name and then I've got room for the pictures unfortunately when I get the when I've got the pictures now they're a little bit bigger so I will need to kind of cut them down somehow and figure out how I'm gonna fit them I'll figure it out I I'll definitely figure it out because my company doesn't do the Polaroids anymore and I'm so sad. I'm very, very sad. But I got to show her this and at least get her to sign it for me and that's what I'm going to do for everybody else when I get a chance to meet them as well. Oh, it feels so good to get some of these out and just go, I'm a scrapbooker, everybody. <laughs> but she was lovely to meet and she was so nice and just like, she's, she's just like a breath of fresh air that you always want, want to talk to. Like, if you would had the opportunity to go out with a coffee like and have a coffee with her I would full on 100% take it and just like have a random chat about little things like Disney movies we'd have a chat about Disney movies because I I feel so that I have to go and get it again <laughs> so initially I made these things because me and Michelle bonded over leaving each other Disney quotes when we worked in the same shop together so <laughs> I turned some of our quotes into playing cards which uh, were basically photos I printed out and then just stuck together. And they last very well. I should uh, at least probably, like, I would say pop them through a laminator just to make sure that they stay together because I don't always trust glue. But yeah, I had, I had cards like this and these were Bambi quotes and I put different, because they were, they were clubs. Then of course, Alice in Wonderland was in there with um, you're mad, you're off your head, you're bonkers. Um, which were the hearts, of course, because Queen of Hearts. Uh, Sword and Stone was the diamonds, which was it's up to you how far you'll go if you don't, tr if you don't go, if you don't try, you'll never know. I couldn't remember the quote. And of course, because Little Mermaid was the most recent, Little Mermaid was the spades, and also I don't see how a world that makes such beautiful things can be so bad. Like, there's so many Disney quotes in here. I wanted to, ba I basically made two sets, which was one that was gonna go to carry as like a little thing of just like, you could just read the quote and just pop it up somewhere. But I forgot them, didn't I? I'm very good at forgetting things. <laughs> like, like stumbling on my words, I'm very good at forgetting, oh, I forgot to pick that up. So yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, overall thoughts on her show, absolutely stunning. The way it works is just brilliant and just doing something different every night is always a good kind of 
like idea just to spark up new ideas and just have a bit of audience interaction whilst having something new play every night and you don't always see the same thing and then can talk about new experiences so overall definitely a good show get tickets while you still can if people are in well the last show is glasgow so if people in glasgow go and get those tickets now um because i will be putting this up on a saturday and yeah that show will have already gone so people in glasgow get those tickets while you still can and hopefully go and see her so yeah oh my god i got through that somehow <laughs> Uh, but anyway, back to actual channel stuff. If you want to see more Blue Mind reviews, like I said, we've got one coming next week with me and Wade going through Across the Spider-Verse, which is a very interesting one, I feel. And last time it was me going through how much I loved Renfield and it was me actually introducing... Uh, it wasn't this book, was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> I had to check which one was which then for a second which was me introducing this bad boy. It wasn't me introducing it, it was me just going on about the extra page, which actual Cineworld commented on, so thank you for that one. And of course, um, I am going to be doing, at my own risk, um, a secret screening review as well. I might do a vlog for that one, just because I'm going to a secret screening on the 20th, and I'm gonna go and see a movie that I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's not Insidious because I won't sleep for a week and also I haven't seen any of the Insidiouses and don't plan to because I will be hiding under my bed for at least a week and I won't be coming out. <laughs> but overall, um, if you want to see more podcast episodes, in general, if you want to see um, me playing Dreamlight Valley, which I love playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, it's very fun. If you want to see Lou playing a bit of Uncharted, if you want to see Wade develop his Mass Effect, series. See, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm very much getting there. Um, and also, if you want to see other content on this channel, we have a lot of gaming up um, at the moment. If you just want some... Do you want to see some pointless random banter while everyone's gaming and killing each other in Last of Us? There is that. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's weird, but also fun. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and... I hope that people go out and just appreciate theatre a lot more, just because I would hopefully have to want that for the future, and if, if Carrie ever watches this, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry for my moments of where I'm just like, word vomiting a lot of the time, or can't even get words together, so I do apologise for that, but I absolutely love and adore you, and thank you for being one of my inspirations, just for life in general. So, thank you, and I love you. Okay, so, and also thank you Michelle for taking me and actually getting me to venture out of my comfort zone for once. <laughs> so thank you work wifey. I owe you all sorts of love and I owe, I owe you a drink. I owe you, I owe you a drink, let's say that. I owe you a drink. All right, I think I've talked enough and I think it's time to go, bye.